Welcome Taurus. Okay, uh, my video just started by itself again. Anyhow, that was interesting. Right, Taurus. Okay, gather myself. We're going to be looking at the next two weeks and what is going on for you or what it is that you need to focus on. Okay, Taurus, using the Enchanted map. And Taurus, I changed it up this week. Gilded Tarot. So last week, I oh, the last two weeks, I must have like been in the process of getting ready to change. So yeah, change is always a good thing. <laughs> I just really did feel called cool to use this deck though for these readings. So yeah, let's have a look here. Okay, so Taurus, let's get into it. Okay, so, oh, Taurus, sad embrace. This is about loss, and I feel like this feeling of, like, nobody understands. Interesting, because I didn't really feel have this strongly when I was meditating. Um, so this could be something that has happened in the past. I don't feel like, I mean, some of you may be in this energy right now, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's something that has happened. But let me just have a look here. Because this person is by themselves and they're just you know, kind of like embracing themselves. It could be that this is something that you're hiding. Um, but interesting that it's a full moon. So I feel like maybe this sadness is coming to completion. Like maybe you're at the end of it and there's a new cycle about to begin. Um, hopefully that is the case for you, Taurus. But let's have a look here. Okay, we have the two of pentacles here. I'm noticing the rainbow there actually out of his hand. So I feel like this is, you know, like the end of the storm type of thing for you. Okay, Taurus. Um, and I suppose like there just could be something that needs to be brought into balance. Um, like the emotions are calm the storm is clearing it's sort of like because with the ship in the background here it's actually about you needing to kind of like rise up and see what is around you and what direction you can go in which is really interesting about the ship because when I saw this what you know this person is sitting on it reminded me of a boat and so you might be traveling away from that okay now um yeah oh we've already had yeah look it's three of swords three of swords they, um, I feel like with this Three of Swords, this has been some heartbreak, 100%. Um, and I also feel, though, that um, it's, it's already been done. It's not like these swords aren't about to go into the heart. They have been put into the heart. So now I feel like for some of you, maybe the next step is to pull those out of the heart. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Solitude. This could be something that you've been in, especially with this card here, this person being on their own here. Um, so there might have been a period of time where you have been on your own. Um, I feel like what may need to happen Taurus is for a bit of a reflection self-reflection to happen 
okay and see what it is that you need to work on oh uh, yeah we've got the knight of swords here very interesting there's this yeah this is this kind of calling on this this wisdom that you have here um with the knight of swords <sighs> sorry i'm just gathering myself because i do feel quite a lot like oh it's just quite an intense feeling to be honest with you and um I feel like there's, it's almost like once you have this reflection on yourself, you're going to be able to cut out whatever doesn't serve you um, quickly. And I feel like this is going to be maybe something that you tap into with your higher self. Okay. Um, we also have the seven of pentacles here. And I feel like with this, that there's it's like you're you're deciding whether you want to proceed down a certain track or not because I'm seeing here what's jumping out at me is the two ladders there's this ladder going up to the tree right and it's like you've been working on this for quite a while and you're now at a bit of a maybe crossroads um which could be what the two of pentacles is about because this is pentacles too you're just trying to work out whether you want to continue going in that direction because here's this ladder leading up here to actually nothing so it's kind of like you've put the ladder aside and gone I'm just going to take a moment to decide on what it is that I want um this could again have been something that has you've been you know has happened okay sacred pool This could very well be about you needing to take a moment to gather yourself up, okay? I feel as though there's still healing that may need to be done because I feel like this sacred pool here is actually representing your own personal pool of healing. And the reason I say that is because like when I do um, healing, like either Reiki healing or any other type of healing, there's like a healing pool that you tap into, which is your healing pool that you gather the energy from type of thing, and which might not be the right way to explain it. But anyhow, that's the basics of it, right? Um, and I feel like this sacred pool is yours. Okay, and I feel as though it's like you need to take some time to bathe in this because I feel like you've been knocked about a bit, to be honest with you, Taurus. Um, especially with this card here and with the Three of Swords here. And I feel as though there's, there's like um, kind of like some low self-esteem or this kind of, there's this ref you you've been sorry you've been kind of like maybe taking on board other people's opinions of yourself which haven't been very favorable and i feel as though there's a need to actually cut that out of your life okay get into the sacred pool to immerse yourself um to let the opinions of others dissolve and to actually um establish a new set of beliefs or a new new opinion about yourself okay um because it's it hasn't served you and it's not serving you Okay, Taurus, what else have we got for sacred pool for Taurus? The sun. Yep, yep, you'll emerge into the sunshine here. Um, because like the sacred pool is foggy around it. And once you've taken the time to do that, the sun is going to shine down on you. And all the planets are going to align. Everything is going to begin to work in your favor. 
okay and maybe this is where you're at right now maybe this is where you're at because now I feel like I'm not getting to this past tense you know it could very well be that you've had this time in the sacred pool or you're towards the end of this healing and um and you're about to to step out of the pool and dry yourself off sort of thing one more card hang on we've got too many flip over here one more card for sacred pool for taurus thanks the hierophant i knew this was going to come out i totally knew this was going to come out i really 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 did I kept seeing it when I was like um, prepping the cards and, and doing everything that I usually do before readings. I was like, this this card is totally going to come out for Taurus. So that was pretty, pretty cool. I'm, I'm so stoked it has. I wish I'd said it at the beginning of the reading now. <laughs> um, but, you know, this is really having like someone come and guide you. Um, I feel like this is also like being blessed in a sense. I feel like you are, um, yeah, it's kind of like, I don't even know. So usually like this can also, I don't know why this is popping into my head during this. This could have been the ending of a marriage though. But I'm just getting the marriage thing pop up. So I'm not sure why that is popping up, but this may very well have been what this was about but that's with the sun card so maybe the ending of this like the whole outcome of it is going to be you know good you, you might see the good in it you're kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in a sense uh, um commitment okay so is it possible Taurus for some of you that you've been through this and this is what you're heading towards because if I put this card here and the next card that comes up, it's like he is walking towards that. Is this a possibility? I did not expect this to turn and there's lots of love hearts. Could also be a commitment to yourself though, Taurus. Um, you know, you could be that flipped over although I'm not taking it because it didn't jump up the ace of cups this is the beginning in love for us let's see what comes up though let's see what comes up because as soon as it flipped up before I saw it I was like I'm not taking that because it just kind of willy-nilly fell out it didn't like be like bam here I am um hmm Um, yeah, I, three of wands, queen of pentacles, let's start with her, she's like, <sighs> okay, I see. This, she knows her worth, okay, she knows her worth, and this I feel like may be very well about committing to yourself, okay, with that Hierophant coming up here, it could be that you, you commit to yourself, you commit to your healing, um, it could very well be that you have committed to that, and you've come through that, and what comes next is this commitment with someone else in a new partnership okay we've got the three of wands here as well and this is kind of like just waiting for your ships to come in type of thing like this is definitely progress in what it is that you've been working on okay and I feel like things are coming to light now you've been in the dark before and now Things are coming to the light, okay, which is why the sun has come up. So maybe it is that you have been healing Taurus and this is what you want to head towards and it's coming to fruition. <laughs> That's exciting. Home. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. Cozy, like inviting home. 
Look at this. Isn't it lovely? This is what you can grow. This is what you have grown, maybe. Now I'm confused. <laughs> um, but here's the owl again. So there's this inner wisdom coming through that you you hold. Um, too many cards. Can't decide. Okay. Home. Life. This says life on the letterbox. Life. Welcome. Life. It's kind of like welcome to your new life. It's about creating this new life for yourself. What is it that you're growing here, Taurus? What do you want that to look like? Like really being serious about that, you know? We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, building up this garden of absolute fortune, right? It's, um, it's success, it's stability. And this person, she, she's on her own. It doesn't mean like she's single necessarily, okay? But she knows, you know, this is the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this energy is the same with these women, you know? And, um, and regardless of what gender you are, it's more about the energy of this. But this is so, kind of about standing in your power. And really growing what it is that you want to grow here, Taurus. Um, and kind of like doing that with conviction, I feel. Four cards, one card, one more card for home. Tell me more about this with Taurus. It does make me wonder where you are at on this part of the journey, though, magician. And realizing that you are the magician, so maybe this is the beginning for you. Maybe this is about you, you know getting in that direction, coming out of that sacred pool and actually looking at what direction are you going in and you have made some progress here um, but you kind of have this dream of what you want that to look like and this is what you're heading towards and I feel like, I really feel like this is, wow, this is actually a very, very cool energy um, that you are in. Spirit of place. Spirit of place. I feel like this is the energy. Okay, so Taurus. Let me just get some cards because I think I'm on a track here. But I just want to see what else comes up. But I will tell you what I'm getting as I shuffle. What? I'm, sorry, I feel like I'm looking down all the time. But there's just like information coming through that I just have to soak it up. Sorry, Taurus. I don't mean to be rude. Um, anyhow, I feel as though this Taurus could be about you. With this card coming up here about you cutting away the things that no longer serve you, letting them fall away, because I'm noticing, that, noticing these autumn leaves here, right, and how they're just falling. It's like, and yet this person isn't looking at those. I just wonder if some of you were in a situation that you, okay, okay, so it could be a couple of scenarios here. So some of you were in a situation that you didn't want to be in and you have a lot of shame about that because you stayed for a certain amount of time and, and you feel quite ashamed about that. And I feel like it's the case for you, Taurus, to, to look at that and really look at why it was that you stayed, okay? And not to look at it like to beat yourself up, to, but to look at it to see that it was a survival mechanism, okay? It was, yeah, the way things went 
um, it wasn't a situation that you would have acted in a way that you or or reacted in a way that you may have reacted now. Um, it's kind of like there was you had to take this time to heal and rejuvenate your self-esteem so that you could grow get it step into this energy here um, and at the point of this all coming to this end wrong one <laughs> um, coming to this end you weren't in this in this energy you weren't in this state you were in a different state state so I feel like Taurus for some of you you need to forgive yourself and have compassion with yourself to understand um, that it was just how things fell. Um, for others of you, just be mindful about staying in a situation that's comfortable. Um, when maybe you're not really at your happiest, okay? We have the king of pentacles here and i feel like this is about stepping into this energy here right he some of you may not be sure which how to actually get to this and we've got the queen of pentacles well wow. we've got both of them here together okay um there could have been a time where you weren't sure how to get to that energy. Um, I don't feel like I'm hitting the nail on the head though. What's the next Ace of Cups? This could very well be the beginning of something new that's going to lead to utter, complete and utter success. Complete and utter success. Um, at the moment, though, I feel like, Taurus, you need to look at what you're filling your cup with, okay? Um, because it's like, there's this, there's this, um, look at this, oh my gosh, maybe you've met your king or queen of pentacles. But being pentacles, I want to say, this is about building something, this could be in business where you actually are building something that you are completely and utterly passionate about, that you absolutely love. And you're looking at how you can build that because this eye is streaming in here, okay? And yep, it's going to take time, okay? But there's just this matter of cutting out this feeling of not um, maybe being deserving or not feeling like you're good enough or feeling like, oh, you know, I was so stupid that I didn't make, do this sooner or I didn't make this choice to go ahead with this sooner. Uh, those are the sorts of thoughts that you need to let go of, okay? Stuck in the mud. Yes, it's keeping you stuck in the mud. What more do you say about that? But there is a new beginning, okay? And you can move forward now before you were stuck in that mud, okay um and you were stuck you know for whatever reason whatever circumstances that you were in you were stuck and i feel like you're blaming yourself a lot for that um but you actually need to cut yourself some slack okay um yeah and and you know it could even be that you just haven't felt like you could move forward um, but now is the time where you can, okay, uh, because I feel as though there's just been some kind of shift somehow. We've got also the Queen of Cups. Look at all this here. This is incredible, absolutely incredible, okay, and, you know, th this woman, she knows what her cup actually holds. She knows what's in it. She doesn't need to question that. She doesn't need to work out, oh, you know, did I put the right thing in my cup? Like, you know, when the king comes along, is, you know, is that all right? Like, is that okay? She she stands here with conviction, knowing what she holds and what she has to offer. Okay? Um, she's not feeling stuck in the mud here, right? She's surrounded by water, 
by calm waters. Even though there's a storm going back on in the background, she's surrounded by calm waters. She's away from the storm. She's moved on from, from the storm. I feel like for some of you, what this storm may potentially be about, if you're feeling like you're still in it, Taurus, is something that is um, a, a little bit self-imposed. Okay, I feel as though there is... Um, oh, sorry, there's this heavy feeling again. Yeah, because your fear is what holds you back. You're afraid. It's like you're afraid to take the blindfold off. It's as though you're afraid to see the truth or afraid to see things as they truly are. Okay. And, and it's like this card here. We're not really wanting to look. Okay. Um, but in order for you to move forward and get unstuck, you need to take the blindfold off so that you can see there is actually a way out. Okay. There's a way out. And, and it could be the case for some of you because you've been in it for so long, you can't see it or it's like, oh, I just really can't be bothered putting in the energy or the effort. Um, yeah, there is a way out. Very interesting. And with the mountains card, um, not everything is clear. You know, the path isn't clear as day and it may feel like it's a huge mountain to climb, um, but it is a necessary one to climb. And as you start to climb it, the way will become clearer. Wow, King of Wands here now. Like, there may actually be people that come along and um, and help you, okay? Um, the one thing I do want... Oh, and the Seven of Swords here underneath. I didn't even know that that had come out together. Okay, so... Okay, so I would also tread with caution, not to say to not move, um, not to allow the stuckness to keep you held back, but I feel like not looking back with regret, knowing that your steps forward are necessary in order for you to become unstuck, in order for you to climb the mountain okay very very important here and I also feel as though there's kind of scenarios that you have in your mind that you're afraid of happening um, and this fear is holding you back and things won't be maybe as bad as what you anticipate. Okay, um, we've got ride the wave. Oh, I love this. Ride the wave. Okay, it really is kind of like about going with the flow and knowing that um, kind of like I just feel like spirit's got you. You know, your, your guides have you. You have support around you. That is, would be really good for you to tap into, okay? This is the ending of a situation, okay? It's the ending of a situation that needs to come to an end, okay? Um, and in order for you to move forward, you're going to need to do the healing that you need to do. You're going to need to... <sighs> You know, you could need to to um, maybe compromise in some situations. You're going to need to get things into balance. You know, everything in moderation here, right? Making sure that you are balancing everything that you need to balance, okay? Um, and I do, the death card is not a bad thing, so please don't think it is. It's, it's a necessary ending. It's an ending that needs to happen in order to take you on, to take you to new pastures, okay? Um, I just want to see if there's one more card here. Um, I 
four of cups, four of cups. You see, this here is this ace of cups, and it's like you're looking at it like, yeah, right, I know what happens with that. Like, we're not going there again. But I feel like this cup is different from the other cup. It's a different cup. And also, look at the magician with the cup there, right? What do you want that cup to look like? What is in that cup? This is, this is your cup. Right? Again, embracing the Queen of Wands, uh, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and her energy of what she puts into her cup, okay? Because at the moment, I feel like you're filling your cup with this storm, um, or the remnants of the storm, okay? So it really is putting an end to that, okay? So, um, and cutting that out so that you can refill your cup with something new, Taurus, okay? Okay, I hope that helps. And I also just want to say about that, Taurus, that's not to minimize anything that has gone on for you because this here, not fun, not fun at all. And I have do have the deepest empathy for you in regards to this because this was really heartbreaking for you. Okay, Taurus, take care of your beautiful selves. And please, if you want to share, put a comment down there, you know, down there. And um, please share and like and, um, and you know, all that jazz. Subscribe as well. And that will just help these messages to reach other people to help them too. Okay, Taurus, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.